Good morning. Welcome to the talk with Ted. Uh, Ted is a pastor and also a counselor. And so we thought it was a good idea to ask him some questions relevant to the Bible and our conditions nowadays. The topic this morning is on prayer. So I have a question for Ted, first of all. Ted, why do we pray if God knows everything anyhow? It helps us to recognize that God is in control and not us. And I think God has commanded us to pray and ask. We have not because we ask not. And maybe we need to stop and re remind ourselves that prayer is a vital communication with the Lord and allowing God to do his work in our hearts. And we, we then in turn give praise to him. And that's where I want to start this morning because there's four aspects of prayer. And I'm just going to try to deal with one this morning. But there's four aspects from my mind of prayer. There's adoration, there's confession, there's thanksgiving, there's supplication. All of those are important. When we think of supplication, I want to think of particularly of Pastor Mark and Barb. Is there a way? And just allowing God to work in their hearts because it's not been easy for pastors in this time as well as all of us. And we need to remember them. But I want to spend a few minutes this morning talking about adoration. I don't think I do enough of this. And I, think, I don't think in general we do enough of this. When we come before the Lord in prayer, I think many times we have our little prayer list and we know what we want. And we say, Lord, this is what I need. This is what I desire. But we need to understand, as I said already, God, or you already said, God knows what we need. And we need to understand that God already has that in his heart, his mind. Now, when I talk about adoration, I really want to talk about how I praise God. And I know that uh, in, our, in our prayer meetings, this has been emphasized by one or two, and I think that's important, just to find a place where I can praise God. It says in Psalm 150, in everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. How do I find that time at the very beginning, after I spend time in the Word, after I spend time meditating what God is saying to my heart? How do I spend time and just reflect on God's goodness? And I think that's where I need to start. And so often we don't do that, but I really want to talk about, just briefly, I know we only have a few minutes here, but talk about five things. First of all, uh, respond to God's goodness and faithfulness. You know, in the midst of COVID, in the midst of all that's going on around us, we, we so get caught up in the, in the moment rather than just stop and think of all the way God has led us through our lives. I'm 73 years old, and I realize so much blessing that God has blessed in my life, and I can't help but stop and praise him for that. And, and secondly, a reminder of who he is. He is God. He's in control of all this. I don't need to worry about that. We've talked about worry, fear, loneliness, and all those things. I don't need to worry about that because, because I know that God is in control, and he is still sovereign. He still knows exactly what's going to happen. We don't have to remind him of what's going on in the world. He already knows that. And we just need to trust him and wait upon him. Uh, the third thing is to recount what he's already done. Not only the blessings, but also in world history, how he is, he is uh, leading us and guiding us through, through the history of our world. And then uh, this, is, this is one that really catches my mind is, is holiness. Remember that God is holy. I, I'm reminded of Second Chronicles 7.14, of my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. Part of that is just seeking the face of God. When I come to prayer, it, it's not about what I need <laughs> initially. It, it needs to be what God is going to, what God is doing, and what God is yet to do in my heart and my life, and bring me, bring me to that place of of uh, rejoicing in what He has done and that He is in control. I, I say that, I say that, Art. But sometimes, maybe we don't catch that in our in our hearts that God is in control, and I want to understand that clearly that I don't need to worry about what tomorrow holds because <laughs> he holds tomorrow. It says in Matthew that uh, tomorrow has enough of its own. We need to just trust him today. Uh, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. I think that's a part of that whole idea of holiness is recognizing what he has done and, 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 and who he is. And the last thing I want to say in this area is, is um, praising God, praising his name. Just, just bowing quietly before God. I, I don't even need to say any words here. I just need to bow, bow quietly before God after studying the word, after reading a verse like, in every, everything that has breath, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Maybe I just need to sit quietly for a moment, let God speak to my heart. Maybe I just need to find that quiet spot that I can just allow him to speak to me. And then let me just 
just say this. That's the main thrust of what I want to say this morning, but don't forget, there's confession. There's a time when I need to repent of my sin and ask God to do that work in my heart and my life. Be honest with God. I can hide from you. I can hide from people, but I can't hide from God. God knows my heart, and if my heart's not right, he knows that, and I need to confess, Lord, I, I'm struggling today because of, of some issues of my life or whatever. Uh, see, uh, repentance is the seed that plants in, in the depths of the soul that starts that interaction with God. If I can say, Lord, I know I've sinned and, and transgressed in your eyes, wow. If, if you read Psalm 51, you see that very clearly. And then, and then the, sec- the third part is thanksgiving. Just give thanks. It, part, of, part of worship is giving thanks. Part of worship is thanking God for where we are today. And sometimes that's a little difficult when you watch the news. I'm going to refer to that in my message a little bit this morning. But when you watch the news, you think, what am I going to be thankful for? He's still on the throne. I don't need to worry about what's going on in my world. I've, I've learned to turn it off sometimes and not listen to it because it, 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 it can be very depressing. But if, if I get that picture... And then finally, supplication. And when I think of supplication, there's three things I think of. Some guy, sometimes God says, go. That's, the, that's the, an answer to prayer. Sometimes God says, no, that's not for you. <laughs> and sometimes we need to understand it's the will of God. And I love this. Sometimes God says, slow. Maybe in time that prayer will be answered, but not right now. So we need to be persistent in our prayers. We need to ask God to continue to work in us to draw us to that point, we're ready to accept that change. I'm going to share a little of, of what's going on in my life in the next, uh, the next session to, to just talk about change and how change is a reality in every part of our lives. We've already talked about that, but something's happening right now in my life that uh, has really uh, brought that really to my attention. You know, how do we change? How do we find that particular spot in our hearts and in our lives? And, and I I, that's my heart. If I can find that place and, and you're sitting at home and wondering what tomorrow holds, find a place, find that quiet spot where you can just bring that before God and say, Lord, you, I'm, I'm giving this to you. I give my sin to you. I give my heart to you. I give everything that's going on right now to you. And I just ask that you would guide and direct in my life. Thanks, Ted. I know as well, it talks about, you know, we're supposed to pray without ceasing. And I think that's mainly talking about just having this attitude of being in prayer with God at all times and recognizing he's in control. We can bring our things, to whatever problem, issue, or praise item that we have to him at any time. We don't have to wait till the end of the day or the start of the day. We should continually be in prayer with God. We can be driving on the 401 yeah. and praying. And eyes open. <laughs> But, but just praying and just asking God to guide us as we go into that next meeting or wherever we're heading, and we can do that very clearly. Let me, let me just pray before okay. we close. Father, we thank you for your blessings. Thank you that you are God who's in control of all these things. And Father, we thank you for what you will do in our hearts even today as we, as we share together in worship, as we share together in, in, uh, in listening to your word, Father. May you just in a very special way give us that sense of your peace and your direction in life. And Father, we just pray for these things in Jesus' name. Amen.